Okay, now we're being told to loop from 1 to 17. So this is the actual first loop in the arrays exercises. These exercises are not really about arrays, you know, like arrays are important, actually extremely important. But I would love to also teach you a lot about um, loops because that's even more important, you know, like looping is so much, like at this level everything is so important, but looping is like a really hard to grasp, grasp um, skill. And I think it's one of those five things that is going to take you to the other side of the universe. You know, like you're going to get through. It's like when you go to Matrix and you learn Kung Fu, you know, in the, in the in the movie. When the guy is learning Kung Fu, it's the same thing. Like when you learn loops, you're in a different level. So this is going to be the first loop. I'm going to try to show you three ways of looping uh, from 1 to 17. And then you can pick the one you like the most. And I'll tell you which one I like the most for this particular exercise. Because... It's not really like liking one and then staying with that one forever. You have to actually know them all and know which one to pick for each case because it's going to vary. It's going to be better or worse in every scenario. So from 1 to 17, that's really important. So the classic loop that in most Facebook's one and the most powerful one, if you ask me, because it's really fast, it's the for loop and it's the most customizable one. Everything is like starting from here and then all the other loops that you'll find or all the other ways of looping it's just on top of this you know because that this is the bare bones of looping so you always have to do three things and you do do have to memorize this the first part will be to declare a variable any any variable but people tell to call it like a or j or maybe i've seen also aux but I normally call it I unless I have to use, I'm forced to use another variable name, but it doesn't really matter the name of the variable. So then you have to initialize it with something. In this case, we're going to initialize it with one because we're being asked to loop from one to 17. So that's really important, you know? And then I'm going to say, as long as I is less than 18, because I want to stop at 17. So I want to include the 17, that's really important. Now, every time I say that's really important is because that's one of the places everyone makes mistakes when they're starting to code. So everyone makes mistakes by putting zero here. Everyone makes mistakes by putting here 17 or maybe they just put equal as well and that will that will be also a problem. Because we, we need to be from one to 17 so we don't wanna include and if we put an equal, I'll say that I'm including the 18. If I'm gonna put an equal, Maybe I can just say 17, you know, from 1 to 17. And then as long, uh, increase i in 1 on every cycle. So, so far, all we're doing is declaring a variable. And then we're increasing in 1 that variable as long as is less than 17. Okay, so a loop, it's basically a piece of code, like a sentence of code, when you want to repeat lines of code. So, let's say, for example, that I want to say, console.log 1, 2, 3, 4. You know, that's that's something you do every day in coding. Like, you have to count. You count every day. So, this seems like a lot of redundancy. You know, like, I have to type console.log like eight times if I want to do this. So, that's why loops came into the formula. So, basically, what a, what a loop will do is that it will repeat a line of code several times, one or many lines of code. So the first thing you have to do is to declare the, the boundaries of your loop. So my boundaries are that I want to start at one, I want to increase one by one, because I could increase two by two, and then I want to stop at 17. Which lines of code do I want to repeat? Well, one of these, because they, they all look the same, so I just need one, right? So I'll just put this one here. And instead of putting the four, I'll put an I, because I is the number that I'm increasing on every cycle. And then I can remove this, and you'll see how it will print basically. Oh, uh, let me let me do it again, because I want to show it's from one. Look, from one to seventeen. But I but I wanna I wanna print something else, so you guys know that's the beginning of the exercise as well. Console.log starting here. You know, and then we'll see that in the console. We'll see that it says starting here, look, starting here, and then one, two, three, four, five, until 17. So we're doing the exact thing that we wanted. If your code doesn't look like this, maybe you 
you misplaced, or maybe you put a zero here, so it's gonna be from zero to 17, so from zero to 17, we don't want that, we want from one to 17, or maybe you forgot the plus plus, you know, and you're not increasing, actually, if you forget this plus plus here, it's gonna get into an infinite loop, and your computer may, like, stop working, because it may be in an infinite loop, like any, any, a loop that never ends, that happens a lot in coding, so I suggest you pay attention, because it's gonna happen to you. Okay, so that's one way of looping from one to 17. I could add many lines, many more lines here, you know, I can also say, hello, you know, hello, and then, because the opening curly bracket and the closing curly bracket, it's what we call the scope of the loop. So the scope is all the lines of code that you want to repeat 17 times. So if I, if I run this, you'll see that it says hello 17 times, you know, actually 18, because I forgot to put one here. Yeah, now it's 17. So, zero, hello, one, hello, two, hello, three, hello. And it keeps going, it's gonna do it 17 times. And I can put more things inside if I want. So that's it. Concepts about looping, it's the beginning, where to start, when to stop, and how to increase. What happens if I increase two by two? Well, it will, if I say I, I wanna do i equal i plus two, then it's gonna do a lot less loops because it's gonna it's gonna grow faster look one three five seven nine eleven like it's jumping it's not going one by one it's going two by two so it's gonna loop a lot less times because it's gonna reach 17 faster okay what what's the other choice you have to look like, let's just put it back you know let's make it from 1 to 17 I'm gonna show you how it, that it's working and then after the test is working I'll show you the other two ways of looping. There it is, it's working, it's saying that everything was right. But let's do the other two, right? Uh, another way would be to declare an array of 17 items. And that's possible, you know, you don't have to say let array and then like one, two, three, four, five, like adding 17 items. No, you don't have to do that, that would be too much. You can do like this, you can do, I wanna do a new array of 17 items and I want to fill that array with a bunch of zeros whatever right like because it doesn't really matter or or let's say just hello inside of the array you know if we store that let me store that into an array so I'm gonna call it um, list of hellos if you store that into an array and you console log that array you'll see that I actually have an array with 17 hellos you know look there it is 17 hellos. So now that I have this array, I can loop it by doing like this. I can say for, right? Let index in list of hello, list of hellos. For each of those hellos, I wanna do a four, and I wanna print index. That's another way. Let me comment this out. And this one, it's similar, it's, you know, there it is. Ah, but it's starting at zero, by the way. You will have to, maybe I can just print index plus one, and it will, it'll do it. Ah, no, because it's, it's a string. It's concatenating it, you know, it's putting zero plus and one, zero, uh, one and one. I don't want to concatenate it. I don't want to put them together. I want to sum them up. So I have to say parse int, and that's going to sum them up. There it is, one, two, three, until 17. So this type of four, it's different from this other type of four because this one, the, the first one, I can control. I can say from zero to 17, whatever. In this one, it needs an array previously made so that I can loop, so that I can loop each position, you know, each index or each position. It's the same, the variable here, the variable name doesn't really matter. You know, you can call it position, index, or you can call it rainbow, like it doesn't really matter. The third way of doing it, now that I have my array, will be to, let me use the same array, but I'm gonna do now, list of hellos dot for each, and then I'm gonna, on each function, in each uh, cycle, I'm gonna call a function, and I know that this sounds, sounds pretty weird, calling a function on a loop. Uh, you don't have to worry about this, I'm not trying to confuse you, I'm just trying to, show you that there's plenty of ways of looping looping 17 times. You can only focus on this one for a while and it's gonna be perfect, You don't, don't worry about it. 
So here I'm going to receive the item and the index, and then here I have index, and that's it. You know, this is an, another choice. Let me put a console log here so that we can see that this is the third approach. If you run it, it says third approach, and then you see that it's also looping. This is the previous approach, and then this is the, pre the previous approach. So we have the three ways of looping, and all of them are working.